Welcome back to Project Zomboid. It's Ferrand here, and today we are kicking off first thing in the morning, the next day. I haven't really done much between episodes, just sort of made a little plan. So, a few episodes back, I marked this place on the map. This little corner just here, and I think today is the day that I would like to try and get to that. I don't quite know what it is, but it does kind of bridge the gap between us and downtown Louisville. If I can make it to that point, everything beyond becomes a lot more feasible. And at some point, I would like to clear this area out. I think this whole place is pretty much fenced off. So if I can maybe head to the center, do a little shotgun run straight out and around, it'll make life so much easier. But I think that quest begins with this place. We've got this base locked down already. We've got a tiny little place just out here that we can fall back to as well as down here but we have nothing in this area that is kind of crucial and it would be quite nice to head back to our og location see what's going on down there but yeah first things first i reckon we hop in the car or do we do it by foot follow the trails up and through hmm. no we'll take the car just in case i feel like this road is going to be pretty deadly and yeah, I'd like to like to explore all of that. It sounds sounds pretty fun, if I'm honest. Do I have the machete with me? I wouldn't mind giving that a whirl. Leave the old katana behind. Trade it out for a nice machete. Uh doesn't look like it. It's probably in the back of that car. This one, I reckon. No. Oh no, I left it on the ground, didn't I? Yeah. All coming together. All coming together. Quick primary. Did these ever get watered? They're very low. Maybe I just go around and do all of these quick. Yeah, good idea. Okay, they're not quite full, but I'm sure they'll do. They're about halfway. She'll be alright. Alright, whilst we're here, I just want to grab one of those out. I should probably get rid of that silencer as well. So it's absolutely necessary if we ever head back and get that little 45, but... For now, it can stay here with silence number two. Well, Andy, uh, am I fully loaded? Pretty much, except for our actual weapon. That mag is completely empty. Be a good idea to replace that. There we go. Lally job. And whilst we're here, we may as well just load her up. Fire her up, let's go. All right. How are we looking out here? I keep getting stragglers just smashing down the walls out here. Uh, metal fences. It's really frustrating. Don't know where they keep coming from, but they are just kind of... I guess they're just fluttering out of the woods. I reckon the sooner we clear that, the better, really. Might be a bad idea to start going that way. Okay, door is closed. Lovely. All right, let's get the show on the road. Fingers crossed. You know, I better just double check. Yeah, if we go straight down, right, and then left, and then just follow it through. Nice and easy, really. Easy little route. Hopefully it's quite empty. So I don't think I've explored too much up this way. So, kind of a bit of a gamble. Probably a very risky game taking the car for the first trip, but... Oh, well, we're on it now. And there's a lot of big houses and garages. That's what we like to see. So I wouldn't mind taking over one of these just for kind of future reference really all looks pretty good though and the tool fences begin either side too which means any racket we make down here is going to bring zeds just pouring out of whatever opening there is I think yeah it should be just in here Ooh, it's got a nice fancy gate very nice a couple of big parking lots which could potentially mean nice cars no Ambulance. If we could get that up and running, that would be nice. Leave that just here for now. Uh, is it a silly idea coming back on ourselves here? We're about to find out. Yeah, man, fellas. Just take out as many as we can along the way. It's going to make our life leaving a hell of a lot easier. That's a brand new looking car, too. Nothing in the trunk. Always a good start. Nothing in the vehicle. 
Well, nothing, nothing valuable. It would be nice to check out under the hood, though. Ooh. Tasty, tasty present for the man. Thank you, ma'am. Nothing else. Ah, pretty banged up. Looks on the outside, basically brand new. It's a little bit upsetting, actually. All right, what we got? Big old golf club. Very nice. Come yeah, on, lads. Just get this over with, shall we? It's the first time ever I think I've seen a fanny pack on a Z. Yeah, look at that. Just wearing it on the back. Fair play. All right, shall we try and get a nice fancy thumbnail before we get bit? Yeah, that'll do. Give me that, my lady. Nice. Did she have one too? Maybe this place is like a gold mine for, for little bum bags. I do have one, don't I? Yeah, not that I've used it in a very long time, but it's nice to know it's there. Okay, we don't like you sneaking out of the woodwork like that. And tasty hand axe, straight in the roster. We've literally got zero axe skill. It's the first time ever I think I've had that. Ooh, now that looks brand new. Yeah, boy. She do be delivering. Let's just get our way in there. Have you got a key? No. No key. It's always a sad day when there's no key. But... She do run. Lovely. I wonder if this is like a little lounge bit. I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll never know. Well, we can always disassemble the door, but I'll leave it be for now. Let's go have a little scope around on the inside. Okay, we've got a bar. Excellent start. Handful of Zeds. Nothing behind us. Let's go to town. Now this isn't by any means going to be a base. This is kind of just uh, an escape route. I would like to... Well, I mean, we can make it a little fallback point, I guess. Bring a bed out here or something, just so we've got somewhere to sleep. If there's not one here, that is. So it's quite a big spot. I'd be very surprised if there isn't. We can also break these down. And they do unreal amounts of uh, electrical skill. They're also great cookers, because they require, like, next to no electrical skill to pick them up. Those fries, that is. Not the cooker heads. Uh, where are we? Yeah, smashing it. Absolutely smashing it. It's probably the highest I've ever been. Uh, do we eat the entire thing and just smash out some antidepressants? Yeah. The weight gain is on the rise. It's literally the only reason for it. Need that weight gain ASAP, really. Anything in here? One dirt empty bucket. Saw the uh, dirty rag, and my brain just went straight to dirty. Uh, anything else? Any other Zeds is the question. Sounds like a few by the back door, but... Yeah, definitely sounds like a few by the back door. Ah! Don't do silly things like that, ladies and gents. Uh, nothing we need. Still got the book list, actually. I think there's like one or two books left on there. Tell you what, this place has been conquered a hell of a lot easier than I thought it would be. We're about to get humbled. Yeah, very quickly, too. <coughs> ah, very quickly. Yeah, this could potentially be a big problem. Oh, yeah, very big problem. Come on. Oh, he's too depressed to do anything fast. Um, okay, head on a swivel here for that reason. Sneaky Zed's doing sneaky things. Let's just get outside. You coming? 
I'm waiting. Definitely hear one behind me. Ah, other side of the fence. Okay, we got a pretty lighty there too. Wow, got a very lucky. With a hell of a lot of blood. That bridge could come in handy before we even before we even get it out of the building. Nice. Uh, well, at least we've got all of that secure. Uh, I might just do one more check for that reason. Get out of here, yeah. All good round here, just the straggler around the front. Right, if we keep that door closed, we'll know if anyone gets in or out. By that, there will only be a broken down door. Lovely. Uh, any more for any more? Whole new room. Metal bar could be handy. Ah, oh, that book as well. It's going to come in handy straight away. Lovely. Hopefully that antidepressant just does the extra little bit of legwork and will be right as rain. Oh, well, this place actually looks pretty good. So we've literally done like zero work and have a pretty solid fallback point. It's not bad. Definitely take those chips. Keep us going on the road. And we've got a whole lot of booze to keep us going too. All right, I guess point number two is straight across to this place. I believe it's a hospital. Yeah, we've kind of done the rounds in here. So I'm not too worried about anything else. Be nice, there is a door. There we go. I was going to say it'd be nice if there's a door. And we will agree to with one immediately. So check out the corners of these fences. Lovely. You boys getting sneaky. So much for using the machete down here, eh? Can you get a cheeky chin stab? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Any more for any more? Uh, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good to me. Nice. All right, I guess step number two is heading over to the old uh, hospital. That's sort of the main main reason for our trip. I want to do a big scope around. I'd love to do a full frontal assault on that place. It tends to be filled to the brim. And I think crossing that off the list would be wonderful. So I don't really have any plans on wasting too much gear just yet for it. But it would be quite a cool feat. Lovely job. All right, any more down here? Another car. Only had a quick look. I couldn't quite see if that was banged up or not. A little white one down the end. That was. Hmm. Looks a little bit ropey. Yeah, I won't stress too much. Give me that, fellas. All right, I think I might shoot straight up to the hospital. Let's see what's going on. A couple of groups between us and there, but nothing too crazy. Well, this is what the entrance looks like. You can't really get much better, can you? Dead quiet. How close are we? Ah, okay. This is what a car park looks like. Maybe it's not quite the entrance I thought. Give my fellas. Let's get this over with. Sooner rather than later, please. Oh, I might switch out to the old uh, cordless drill. It's pretty much done. Be nice to get rid of it, really. Oh, that was so nice. Oh, look at him go. Outrageous. Are we level 9 yet? No, not quite. Not quite. Is that a Louisville map for the corner? Please tell me it is. No. That's the area that we're stood in. One big dink. That's so nice. So nice. I don't remember it being this good. 
All right, are there any half decent cars or? Ooh. Another little hand axe to the roster. I would love to start using the axes. I really would. I don't know why I haven't still after all this time. Something I just keep on putting off and I don't really know why. I'll tell you what, that's nice to get this area cleared straight off the bat. Come on. Getting tripped up in one single Z. Lally job. Lally job indeed. Let's just do one quick sprint around. Nothing in there. Do you know, I'm sure I've done a loop of this place before. Didn't I do a loop of it on like day one? I feel like I might have. Really rings a bell. Right, let's just head on in. Let's see how we're looking down in the biggins. Never looks too pleasant, does it? Whoa. You can feel the lag creeping through. Usually only means bad things. Yeah, yeah, it definitely means bad things. Like windows not breaking kind of bad. Let's take a quick vitamin, keep ourselves sort of ready to go. Hopefully we can just shred straight through them. Fingers crossed, anyway. So this isn't isn't really a primary goal, but you know, if we can pull something off, it could be quite fun. Uh, maybe getting a little bit too sketchy. <laughs> In your face. Just immediately slows down. This weapon gets a million times better. I love it. Job we could potentially smash out a bit of machete training down there. But I mean, there's enough sets for it. It must be a shame not to. See ya. It's actually not too many though. I'm quite surprised. You know, no, I'm very surprised. Usually this place is even, front to back. So I might have. I might have won the lottery with this place, really. Get out of here. Come on. Cross. Oh, I forgot how terrible level zero skills are. Not good. 15 XP through. Can't go putting a, a katana through that torment. I'm sure we've got two now as well. Pretty sure I've got another one back at our main base. Right, is this place ever going to be safe enough to sleep in? Or am I going to have to take a very, very big risk here? There's definitely one behind me. Nice. Double nice. Sorry, I know it's getting quite dark too. I'm going to flip on the old flashlight. Right, as soon as she goes down. There we go. Hey, old fella. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. As soon as they start flocking in from upstairs, it starts getting dangerous. Let's go. Nice. Brilliant. Achieved absolutely nothing with that. <laughs> okay, let's do this the right way. Weapon's only going to get us killed. should really look at shifting a bed of some sort as well. So I'm sure there's plenty of houses down in that walkway. We have to spend the night in there then. That's all good. Save the golf club for a rainy day. All right, all looks pretty good around us. Let's see inside look. Pretty ropey. Yeah, you know what, let's go find a house. Definitely not sleeping in there tonight. One of these should be okay. Yeah, one of these is probably safer than one of these. Let's go have a look. Go do the rounds. Take care of what stragglers we can on the way out. We would like to not be tailed, preferably. 
and then lose a door in the middle of the night would not be fun. Mm. Ah, there we go. Oh, on the other side of a fence. Interesting. Ah, no, that's the golf club. Okay, makes way more sense. Oh, there's a fuel station there. Howdy. <laughs> Joking. Just too far out. Nothing too crazy. Have we got an in? We've got an in. Lovely. One broken window. Never a good sign. Electrician 4 we don't need. Any food. Can corn beef. That'll do me for the night. Alright, let's go to bed. We've eaten, we're pretty well fed, but we are sleepy. I'll see you guys when we're up and ready. Ended up being a pretty peaceful night. No Zeds coming in, no Zeds banging on any doors, no growling. But I did see a couple of Zeds out here before we went to bed. And it looks like they've moved on. Wonderful. So that's all. Oh yeah, pretty smooth sailing. There's pretty much nothing in the house at all. Barely any food. You know, no gear up in the bedrooms or anything. Just, yeah, pretty plain Jane. Unlike you, fruity man. Yeah, nothing too exciting going on. I'm kind of hoping these have at least one or two bits. So we did get the, uh, ooh. Speaking of fire. <laughs> uh, we did get the chips. They'll keep us going for a bit. Nothing too crazy, so I'd quite like to get some more tins set up in that golf club just for well, future reference, really. But overall, nothing too crazy. Could be some bottles of wine in there, though. No. Not this time. Not this time. Ooh. Speaking of bottles of booze. Oh, there we go. Can't take them all, but absolutely keep that in mind. Might even just mark it on the map. Sorry, pal. It's your time to go. Ah, and your friend. Come on, please be speedy. Nice. Can we get one? One of two is always good. Cool. Alright, just whilst we're here, let's do a little circle. A red circle. Which is an important circle. Uh, booze van. Nice. Hopefully we don't forget that. So I've been using the map a lot more this run, like making notes on pretty much everything other than our stashes, which is probably the things that I should be making notes on. But it's been super handy. Finding my way around later on when, kind of when we need to find little things. So it's always the little things that I sleep on, overlook. But yeah, making notes on them and just being able to wander straight back to it has been a game changer. Any little hideouts we've got, just slap them on the map at least just to give myself a bit of an insight or you know like if we find a car or whatever pin it straight on the map and then you'll never forget about it and yeah it's been an absolute game changer and we lost the game again bread knife over machete today sad sad day but yeah the the map has been a huge help it's one thing i kind of use occasionally but not often enough to sort of say I use the map but I fully recommend it. That paper map is just unreal. Probably one of the best features they've added to the game. Nice top. Kind of looks like Keanu Reeves. Here yeah, fellas. Are we going to play nice today? There we go. Lovely. Uh, is this where we were? Yeah, that's the entrance. Don't really know why I want to take this place. But we're halfway through now, and I don't really want to stop. Especially as, as we can't just machine our way through with a, with a combi. Come on, fellas. Let's make this quick. I want all of you down before that guard behind us gets to us. Hmm... Getting a little bit tight. Certainly getting tighter. 
And tight enough for us to leave. Let's save whilst we can. Uh, can we tag both? Beautiful. Oh, free for free. Very nice. I would highly recommend not sprinting into these places because it can get pretty dicey pretty quickly. That's always the most fun. Uh, have I got a spare drill? We do. If he's quick, lovely. Easy does it there, boy. Easy does it. So this is such a big part of the Z population in this area. If I can clear this out, be unreal. Make moving onwards from here so much easier. No, any helicopters and things won't really be much of a threat anymore. Probably one of the most crucial points to take care of along the way, I reckon. The build up inside is just relentless if it gets out of control. And yeah, nobody wants that. Nobody wants an uncontrolled horde. But everybody, everybody wants a man skilled with a drill. Well, let's, let's get this over with. Well, everybody other than these beds, anyway. He would be Pest Control's best friend, I can tell you that much. You guys still coming down? I thought we were done with you. Ah, they're flopping out now. Out and down. Nice. We're about to get surrounded. There we go. Nice. Oh, and I thought the mall was hectic. And literally do just flock out from everywhere. It's really this. Keep it moving. Keep it grooving. This ridiculous and we're not even max level yet. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. Grab the chips whilst we can. Yeah. Is there no like terrace up there? I thought they'd all be hopping over a balcony. And it does just head straight up to walls. Not sure. I've never made it to level two. Ah, hunting up. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, we're gonna miss that. Oh, we're gonna miss that big time. Nice. Okay. Hunter knife attempt two. There we go. Oh, I can hear him shifting upstairs, but yeah. Ah. They're coming from behind me. And they're starting to dive over the balcony. Lovely. Well, at least now I know there is a way to do that from up top. And I should be terrified. Ah, I was hoping she'd get out of the group. Oh, well. She was close, but no cigar. There we go. Already off to an excellent start. <laughs> so many Zeds down here. It's unreal. I should have just brought a shotgun in here. Another hunting knife to the mix. Yeah, I feel bad for bad mouth and this weapon now. Take back every bad word I ever said about it. This thing is just outrageous. Oh, was that a. Was that an exhaustion symbol? A little cleaver I haven't seen for a while and absolutely don't need. 7131. What is it per kill these days? 7138. Are you going to be a big one swing? 7142. Big gains. Big gains. Do a little bit of cat and mouse. Keep all of us on, on our toes. She hunter knife lady? No. 
Must be our blue jeans. Easy does it. One cheeky big swing. Two for two. Three for three. Wait, is there windows on that back wall? There is, and a whole other corridor. This could be a big old pointless exercise. I don't quite know how big this place is either. Bonk. Yeah, we could be going for days down here. But if we can do it in two, I'll take it. Fellas. Nothing behind us still. No. Oh, you dog. Okay, no scratches. We're good. Yeah, it would be cool if they could do that little dive thing on their way back to their feet. You know, if you knock them down and they stumble a bit. Tag you on the way. It would definitely make standing on the edge just that little bit more dangerous and a bit more a bit more exciting. Oh, this takes me back to Pete. When we were in the police station just smashing Zeds. Kind of waiting for a Zed to creep up the army, you know. Getting those little flashbacks. Fingers crossed anyway. Fingers crossed we're good. I feel like this weapon's a bit faster. And we aren't filled with firefighter gear this time. Definitely got an upper hand somewhere. And that is it. Oh. So much glass smashing. I have no idea where it's from. A human upstairs, but... Certainly sounds closer. Mm, a little bit scared. A little bit scared. I've never been this focused before on this game. Christ! Yeah, not good. Definitely was upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> At least we figured that one out before it got dangerous. Oh, they're still coming. My god. Level 9 Supreme. Right, are you the last one? No, not even close. Ah, oh, it feels like we've barely even started. There are only two levels, though. It's a little bit more reassuring. Okay. As soon as you guys just space out of touch, you'll be alright. Ship blade, level 9. There we go. Oh, what a beautiful sight that is. Maybe, maybe this becomes a new thumbnail. Let's see how we go. <laughs> Looks way, way cooler than the uh, the golf club, anyway. Oh, there was one that came down here. I think I might make him the last, last little wanderer. Sorry, fella. No witnesses and all that. Hate to be that guy, but. I did force my hand. All right, well, I think on that glorious note of just hundreds of dead Zeds, I'm going to love you leave you just there. How ridiculous is that? Absolutely ridiculous is the answer. But yeah, me and Diego are going to say goodbye. Thanks for watching. Massive thanks to the members supporting the channel. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Hopefully, stick around for the next one. Peace.